Hello everyone, in the previous video we saw a few basic shapes with pure CSS. Now let's see a few advanced or you can say complex shapes. To create advanced shapes you can use before and after pseudo elements also. The before and after pseudo elements are used immensely in front-end development as they allow developers to not only add content inside the element for creating interesting effects but also help them in customizing default styles, make useful placeholders and add borders to images. Let's try star shape first and see how to bring it to life. To get the shape of a star, you will need to manipulate the borders using the rotate value of transform. Let's define a class star 5 because a star has 5 corners or points. Let's give CSS first margin position as relative, display as block, width and height both 0. Now giving border right, border bottom and border left. Do observe that I have kept right and left as transparent so that I get my desired shape. Finally giving the transform property to 35 degrees. This gives us one layer of our star. Moving ahead, now it's time to use the pseudo element before star 5 before then inside that giving border to bottom left and right respectively i am giving a different color to this to show you how the shape comes to life position has to be absolute again height and width zero giving some margin top 45 pixels and left 65 display block content i am just giving the blank content that's the ideal way of using it and now we'll use the transform property to rotate this shape to minus 35 degrees so far so good and finally putting the final piece on top of it to finish our shape this time using the after property star 5 after and then inside that position to absolute display as block top margin 3 pixel left minus 105 pixels once again width and height 0 keeping the border right bottom and left here this time also using a separate color will keep the transform property to minus 70 degrees and the content is blank so now we have our shape it is a star but has different colors these are actually three shapes combined to create a single shape let's give it a good color setting all shapes colors to orange and here you have your star. That was a complex one, wasn't it? Let's try a simple but advanced shape. Let's create a diamond. How will you do that? By grouping two triangles pointing upwards and downwards using position. And yes, we'll use the border properties to create these triangles. Changing the class to diamond, I am clearing the previous CSS and writing CSS for diamond, width and height, 0 position relative giving the top margin border and border color to just the bottom so this is our top of the diamond now using the after pseudo class diamond after and inside that content width and height 0 position absolute left and top margin border and let me give border color giving it a different color so this is your diamond shape. Now we just need to give the same color to both the division and here you have your diamond ready. These were just few pure CSS shapes that can be built by writing few lines of code. Nowadays developer get a lot of help for drawing shapes. The best two examples are scalable vector graphics that is SVG which is an image format for vector graphics or you can also use a clip path in CSS. But I also believe that as a developer you should always learn the basics first and then upgrade your skills as you move ahead in your career. So keep experimenting and try to discover new ways to draw such awesome shapes purely by CSS.